Do you hear this all day long? Play with me, Dad. Play with me. If you're here, then you're probably looking for tips on how to get your child to play independently. So in this video, I'm sharing nine ways to help get your child to love playing on their own. No, you are not a terrible parent for wanting your child to play on their own. As parents, we need a break, but more importantly, it's actually vital for children to learn how to play independently. When kids are able to play and entertain themselves, they learn important skills like self-confidence, problem solving, and creativity. My first tip is to start gradually. Don't think that this is going to happen overnight because it's not. You need to start slow. Begin by asking your child to play for a few minutes at a time and then slowly increase the amount of time that they spend playing on their own. For this, I find that it's really helpful to use a timer. You can tell your child that you will put the timer on and they will play on their own until the timer goes off. I also love doing this trick when Luke asks me to play while I'm in the middle of doing something. So I'll just set a timer for how long I think it's gonna take me to finish the task and I'll tell him that I will come play with him after the timer goes off. This helps to give kids something concrete to connect with the concept of time. One of the best ways to encourage independent play is to model it yourself. Make sure your child sees you doing things that you enjoy doing on your own. You can also model this during play using your child's toys. When your child sees you playing on your own, they'll be more likely to wanna do it themselves. So for example, I'll start playing with Luke's cars or trucks while he's in the room, but not playing with me directly in order for him to see me playing on my own. When it comes to getting your child to play on their own, it helps to have an inviting, safe play space set up. Take a moment to think about how your child's play area is set up currently. Are there toys all over? Is it cluttered? Does your child even have a designated play space? If not, then you're definitely going to want to set up an area that is specifically for play. And just note that this does not have to be a whole room. A corner in a room is perfectly fine. If you'd like to see a video on tips on how to set up a play space for your child, then definitely drop that in the comments below. And if you're interested, I can make that video for you. But you wanna set up your child's play space so that it supports and encourages their creative exploration. This includes providing a variety of toys, art supplies, and other materials that your child can use on their own. That's the key. Make sure there are things in this play space that your child can play independently. I recommend staying close when you're first trying to implement independent play. This will help to make your child feel more comfortable with the process. So maybe try something like sitting across the room at first. And then as your child gets used to playing on his or her own, you can move further across the room or even into another room. Just be sure to check in on them occasionally and let them know that you're still nearby and available if they need you. There is a quote by Maria Montessori, which is actually right back here on my wall that says, play is the work of the child. It is vital to let your child choose how and what they play, which is also known as free play, but you guiding them from time to time is okay too. One thing that can help your child focus on playing independently is to give them a specific task or a goal to work on. So this could be something as simple as building a block tower or putting together a puzzle. Don't go nuts, just something really simple. When your child is playing independently, you should really try not to interrupt them because there is some serious work going on in that little brain of theirs. But when they are done, you can mention how nicely you noticed that they were playing on their own. This can help to build their self-esteem and encourage them to keep playing independently. All right, now I'm gonna give you my super tip, which I like to call 10 minute magic. I've heard it called a ton of different things. Some people call it special time. So if you really wanna give your child a boost toward independent play, then try this tip. This involves spending at least 10 uninterrupted minutes with your child each day, doing something that they enjoy. No distractions and no phones. I am so guilty of this one. 
This quality time will help to build a strong connection between you and your child, and it will also give them the confidence to play on their own. During this special time with your child, let them pick what they want to do with you and try and let them guide the play. I also recommend doing this at the beginning of their play session if possible. I definitely noticed that when I go to play with Luke when he first goes to play, he'll usually go off and play on his own without me even saying anything to him. To keep kids interested in playing independently, try a toy rotation. Rotating or changing up their toys can help to keep things fresh and fun for kids while also encouraging them to use their imagination imaginations in new ways. Go check out my toy rotation video right now to get more tips and info on how to do that. Just remember that independent play is essential for children as it allows them to explore their creativity and imagination, learn problem solving skills, and boost their self-confidence. With these tips, you can help your child to start playing independently and reap the many benefits that come with it, like sitting on the couch and sipping some hot coffee. What are some of your favorite ways to encourage independent play? If you have any, please drop them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe before you go for more parenting tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.